Hello everyone, so in this video we are going to take a look at Semco and we are going to dive deep into what this API can do. I know this video has been a long overdue but uh, I have read all the comments that was uh, that were on my previous video so I thought let us just try to make another video explaining those problems. Okay, so let's start with the the streaming of data that uh, uh, someone suggested how we can actually stream the data so let me actually log in so as you can see i have logged in uh, correctly and it says that login session uh, token generated successfully all right so in the last video i just uh, showed you that uh, you can actually kind of uh, get the historical price and then you can actually kind of uh, plot it using plotly or some other library so now for uh, kind of streaming the data what you will actually require is uh, something really important and let me actually tell you what is that so first of all what you will do is you will actually write sampo.get code and for getting the code you will actually write the company's name or the script name that you will be actually getting the quote of okay so for an example let's talk about idea because it is a cheapest stock that you can actually buy as of now like at least i can buy okay so uh, over here what you are searching for is this listing id so this listing id is uh, unique for every uh, stock and this is where all the game happens okay so what we'll do is we'll actually uh, do something like json dot loads and we'll get something like this and we are uh, kind of uh, just in interested in this listing id only now what uh, we are actually going to do is we are actually going to uh, do the streaming as the original documentation suggests okay so over here if you come at the bottom i guess at the bottom okay so here uh, we have this streaming data so for streaming the data it will actually set the streaming data just like this uh, like these guys have setted it so what we are actually going to do is we are going to set the streaming data so uh okay samco dot set streaming data okay so you have to actually set the streaming data as a dictionary which will contain all the listing ids that you are actually gonna stream the data for okay so we'll actually copy this thing and paste it over here and if you run this uh then uh, it will say that we have set the stream data for you now you can actually just uh start the stream just like the documentation says so you will uh, get the data something like this and as you can see that the data is being poured in in the jupyter notebook however i couldn't actually find any use of this uh, because it looks like a print statement from the function this is start streaming so i hope uh, uh, you can actually go to the doc, uh, to go to the code of it and you can actually change uh, from print statement to a return type and after that maybe you will be able to actually get this data and modify it or kind of uh, present it in a plotly visit or something like that but uh, for now i couldn't actually find any use case for it however however i I could actually use this code function uh, which is pretty useful what you can actually do is uh, from this code function you can actually kind of get uh, this uh, what we say last traded time last trading price and previous close and the change value something like that and then you can actually uh, plot them using a plotly visit so this is what we are going to do uh, so for that purpose let us just take this sbi for an example now if i run this code then you will actually see that 
the data is being poured in however i have realized that if i if you actually go too fast like i have just set uh, the sleep to 0 0.2 seconds in that case it just kind of disconnects from the server and it just kind of doesn't show uh, the further readings or further values so what we'll do is we'll actually increase the time and then you will see that it kind of uh, comes and pours in the data okay so we'll actually stop it and now you can actually what you can actually do is you can actually create a live graph of it using plotly visit i'm not going to go in the details of it but this is what you can actually do with it okay so now let us run run this and as you can, uh, you can actually see that uh, we have this live plot of sbi uh, being plotted in uh, plotly visit okay so this is what you can actually do with the the streaming function and the code functions and then uh, the important part comes in how you're gonna place the orders so now let us just uh, go to this okay so i have actually placed one order recently so if you go to the documentation like how you are gonna place the order okay so over here if you see we have this kind of command which you can actually put over in the jupyter notebook and actually can uh, make an order okay so in this uh, case i have uh, bought idea uh, at 8.20 uh, actually i have chosen 8.20 because i know that the upper circuit limit uh, sorry the lower circuit limit is 8 point uh, i guess 8.10 or 8.15 something like that and uh, this price the current price is not gonna reach this limit so i want to be able, i want to be actually buying the idea script but i'll be just placing an order so if i just kind of run this code then you can see over here that the cnc orders request placed successfully now if you come to this uh, samco web page and then if you go to all orders then and then you can see over here that uh, there is an open order at 8.20 uh, where the last trading price is 9.0 something like that okay so i'm gonna close that order because I, I don't actually want to buy idea so what i'll do is i'll actually kind of get the order book and over here you can actually see that i got this order detail and uh, it must tell me that uh, whether the order has been cancelled or it is open okay so over here like in order status you can actually see that the last order has been cancelled and this one is open so i want to cancel this order so what i'll do is i'll just copy this order number and then come on to this function or this method which says sample.cancel order so if you just write it like this and if you run this what will happen is order cancelled successfully and if you come to this page then you will actually see that both order has been cancelled okay so this is how you can actually place the orders and uh, uh, depending upon the type of order that you are going to place the command will actually change so everything will be available over here you can actually go through this documentation and if you have any question then you can always go to the comment section uh, in this video and place your questions over there i will try my best to answer them so thank you for watching this video i hope you liked it and i wish you good luck thank you so much